Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting problem today. So we have this exponential equation in a little bit tricky form. Yeah, we have x to the power square root of x equal to 10. And on the first side we can easily solve it by inspection, it looks like that, but we have like x to the power square root of x, it's not like x square equal to 10, so we cannot find this number. We have x in our exponent and x as our base. Yeah, so we need to find a really good trick how can we solve it and in this video I'm going to show you how can we solve this quickly and without any problems, yeah? So first of all, I want to start with this one. First, we need to know that x can be written as square root of x square, yeah? So we can easily write it in this way. This is the first really important step. And second, we need to know a really important rule. So if we have a to the power b, if we raise this to the power c, we can write it as a to the power b times c. Yeah, so this is like two really important steps right now and I hope you understand this. First step right here and the second step right here, yeah? Okay, let's go next. Let's change this x as square root of x square, yeah? This x we change by this square root of x square. As a result, square root of x, we squared it and we raise this to the power square root of x, yeah? So we change this by square root of x square and we raise to the power square root of x, of course, equal to equal to 10, yeah? And what are we going to do next? This is our first, this was our first step and of course this is our second step. So let's multiply our powers because we have a to the power b raised to the power c which is equal to a to the power b times c. So as a result we will have like square root of x to the power 2 times square root of x to square root of x which is equal to 10, yeah? We have this, this expression right now. And uh, why, I, why I made this substitution right here like that? Because right now we have square root of x and square root of x. So it's really great because we like forget about square and we go with substitution. So let our square root of x will be equal to, for example, let's go with y, yeah? What we will have as a result? y to the power 2y equal to, equal to 10, yeah? So we have this expression, so a little bit easier than in the beginning. So let's go and solve this with y. Okay, if we have exponent and powers, this is really good because we can easily apply natural log on both sides. And this is really great because if we write natural log of this expression, so y to the power 2y equal to natural log 10, yeah? And if you apply natural log on the left hand side, we can easily bring this to y right here in the beginning, yeah? As a result, 2y times natural log y equal to natural log, natural log 10, yeah? So we have this expression. I hope you understand this step. This is like in school algebra, classic natural log, so nothing hard, I guess, yeah? So I hope you understand these steps right now, yeah? Okay, let's go next. What are we going to do next? The next step is, is really uh, maybe a little bit complicated for you because this step includes Lambert W function. So as a result, let's write this y as, so let's write this y as e to the power natural log y, yeah? This is our, our rule, really important rule. And let's write this y as e to the power natural log y. As a result, we will have like 2 times e to the power natural log y times natural log y equal to natural log 10, yeah? So we just change this y as e to the power natural log y. And of course, nothing changed for us because this is the same y as right here. This is natural log property. Okay, what are we going to do next? We have this constant on the left and we don't need it. So we divide both sides by these two. As a result, we will have like e to the power natural log y times natural log y equal to natural log 10 over over 2. So right now we have on the right hand side we have a constant and all variables we have on the left hand side, which is really great. And right now let's uh, learn or let's remember or, le or let's understand about Lambert W function, yeah? So what this function looks like? If we have x times e to the power x and if you apply from this expression, if you apply Lambert W function, so it will be equal to only our x, yeah? So if we will be able to create this expression right here, we can easily apply Lambert W function and we will have like only our x, which is equal to exponent or this number, which is absolutely the same. And right now, if we look closely, we have e, yeah? And we have the same power and the same this number. So it's really great to apply Lambert W function. Let's do this. So Lambert W function of this expression we will have like natural log 
y, I change in order a little bit, times e to the power natural log y equal to Lambert w function of this constant on the right hand side. So natural log 10 over over 2. This is absolutely good for us because this is a constant and in internet there are a lot of like labor libraries or internet resources. How can we find this constant? Yeah. Okay, and take a look closely. This is absolutely the same case as right here, but instead of x we have natural log y, but doesn't matter for us, we go with natural log y. So after applying Lambert W function, we will have natural log y on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we will have Lambert W function in this point. So natural log 10 over over 2. Okay, I hope you I hope you understand this step and let's go, let's go next, yeah. What we're going to do next? We have a substitution right here that our y equal to square root of x, yeah? So, but let's from here, let's find our y and then change with x, yeah? So we will have like, what can we do this? Let's take e on both sides. If we e, write e right here and right here, we cancel this natural log and e. And as a result on the left hand side e, on the right hand side e to the power, on the left hand side y, yeah, on the right hand side e to the power lambda w function in natural log 10 over over 2, yeah? And of course let's go to our substitution because, because we have had a substitution before because y equal to square root of x. So as a result square root of x equal to e to the power lambda w function in this point natural log 10 over over 2, yeah? And what are you going to do next? Let's, let's square both sides, we'll have then only our x right here. So if we squared both sides, we will have like our x equal to e to the power Lambert w function in this point natural log 10 and over 2. And of course all raised to the second power. And I don't want to wait to waste your time because of course you can you can find this Lambert W function on internet resources, but I, I don't want to waste your time. And of course I find this solution in internet libraries because I find the exact value of this Lambert W function and I find the correct answer x equal to, of course approximately equal because we have a lot of signs, 3.4528. This is our solution to this problem. If you're talking about math, math solution, this is our math answer. But if you're talking about approximately answer, maybe, of course, a lot of students interested in approximately answer, they, they of course, like to see approximately answer to this problem. Because maybe someone feel by inspection that this looks like, yeah, maybe maybe two, three, four. So because we have 10 already here on the right hand side, this is not like a huge number, yeah? So it looks like maybe two cube equal to eight, maybe, 2 to the 4th equal to 16 and it looks like group like 2, 3, 4. So it looks like that. And as a result, as you can see, we find our, our answer. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. I try to help everyone. Maybe you find another really interesting approach, maybe with nature log, maybe without Lambert W function. It will be really interesting to read about it. And of course, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, for your likes. I really appreciate it. See you in the next videos.